My dear friend in Christ, we are all familiar with the incident of Zacchaeus the tax collector who climbed a sycamore tree to catch a glimpse of Jesus. Jesus was on his way to Jericho and Jericho was known to be a place where there were many prosperous people and Zacchaeus the tax collector was one of them. Zacchaeus was prosperous, a rich tax collector, but he was a lonely man, an unhappy man despised by many because he was a tax collector extracting taxes for the Roman government. But Zacchaeus knew that all his money could not buy the happiness that he yearned for. And he wanted to catch a glimpse of that man Jesus who spread happiness wherever he went. And Zacchaeus least expected that Jesus would recognize this yearning in his heart for happiness. And Jesus not only looked up the sycamore tree but also chose to dine at Zacchaeus' house. My dear friend in Christ, when we yearn for true happiness, all our material possessions will mean nothing to us. We experience transformation like Zacchaeus did. It's worth thinking about this. Money can buy us a bed, but not sleep. Money can buy us medicine, but not health. Money can buy us jewelry, but not beauty of the soul. Money can buy us books, not wisdom. Money can buy us food but not appetite. Money can buy us a house but not a home. Yes, my dear friend, there are many things that money cannot buy that only the Lord can give us. The Zacchaeus incident or the Zacchaeus encounter with Jesus teaches us three very important things. One, we must be willing to detach from material things if we want to have a lasting relationship with the Lord. Yes, we must be willing to detach from material things if we want to have a lasting relationship with the Lord. The second, God never ever despises or rejects a genuine seeker. Zacchaeus was a genuine seeker. He was despised by all for being a tax collector, extracting taxes for the Roman government. But Jesus, in spite of his weakness, accepted him for his willingness to change. And we know what Zacchaeus did when he met with Jesus. He promised to repay all those who he cheated. And the third thing is, money or material wealth cannot measure up to the love that God has for each one of us. Remember this, my dear friend. If we want to let God work on us, we need to let go of anything that prevents God from working on us. If we want to let God work on us, we need to let go of anything that prevents God from working on us. Prosperity is not happiness, but happiness is prosperity. Yes, my dear friends, prosperity is not happiness, but happiness is prosperity. May the Lord help you to follow the example of Zacchaeus, to detach from things that prevent you from experiencing the wonderful, loving relationship of the Lord with you. Have a good and godly day.